Hello everybody, Sift here again with another magic craft from the action combat roguelike that allows you to create busted spells to break the game. And today I'm gonna try to get either a butterfly build or a tracking uh, mouse cursor lightning build. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what we're gonna get. Maybe we're gonna get something random. Has to do with what we get. Now, for the question of the day right away, 70% oh, cool on here. Uh, you know what, I, I will stop talking about what's happening in the game for a while until I get the question off because I'm always like stopping and going, stopping and going and it's a bit hard to keep track of my thought process and also it's it's pretty hard to um, have the question be aligned with, you know, just, just be clear as to what I'm asking. So, question of the day today is, uh, how do you remember things? It's a more simple question that most of the time, that the last three or four I did, but the question has a bit more depth than what it is visible, and what do I mean by that? Uh, I mean the following. So, uh, let's say... Actually, yeah, how do you remember things? And I mean it with the following reason. I, I, I'm gonna just give examples here because that's, I think, easier to get through. I remember things by thinking about them. And what I mean by that is that if I had a thought that crossed my mind while something happened, for example, oh, that was smart, or mm, what do they mean, though? Or, you know, anything that has to do with the question, and especially if I ask the question to the person or to the thing that happened, then I will definitely remember that that thing happened. Uh, that's that's how I function at least and my question to you guys is how do you function because I have another example here I have a friend I asked yesterday and uh, with the exact same question and uh, After a bit of discussion because that's not easy to realize how do you remember things but after discussing with her a little bit um, She told me that she remembered things if uh, I guess the vibe has changed. For example, if two people talk with each other, that's a completely different uh, uh, point of view than mine. Like if two people talk with each other and I see one of the two or she sees one of the two um, uh, have some interaction or have some kind of, uh, not interaction, but I guess their vibe change, you know, like maybe somebody became sad because uh, somebody told them something or, you know, two people are laughing over there because somebody said something, you know, that type of style. That's a style. Like, if, if she sees anybody interacting and changing mood because of something that has been said, then she remembers what has been said uh, because she remembers the mood swing that happened. Like, she, she realizes, or, or at least that's how I, she explained it to me. I'm, I Obviously, that's not how I remember things, so I can't really convey the exact message. So, um, that is what I've told, uh, that I've been told. Or, for example, I have another friend that says that he remembers things based on if it would... Uh, destroy his schedule, for example. Like, if something he wants to do or something he, he learned is gonna make him not be able to do something that he previously was able to do, um, and maybe he has a schedule that I wanna go there, but I can't really go there because I have that other thing. Like, if it, it is very schedule-dependent as to what his memory entails. Like, if he puts on the schedule, he remembers it. If he doesn't put it on the schedule, or it doesn't, is is it's not able to go on the schedule, he just does not remember it at all. He just deletes it on the spot. So, um, that's, uh, these are very different point of view. So, by the way, I would like to do a full screen arcane explosion build, and I already have this here, although people are telling me do butterflies do lightning dash, but I would like to do a full screen explosion build. Like, literally click and explode. And I already have half the path here. Let's try to force something stupid, because what I'm right now explaining is obviously very stupid, and I want to do something very stupid. Let's roll laser beam and whatnot, and the salvo, no. So uh, that is pretty much the question. I think it's pretty clean and clear as to what the question is. So how do you remember stuff? All ones and P-cost minus 10%, that's godlike. That is a godlike one. I never had found that before. Uh, I would like to get, you know, oh, we've found the dash, by the way, but we don't have the money. And let's actually go, as I said, we're going to try to go this explosion build here. I, I want to do that. I want to do the explosion. But what's the potion we have, by the way? Transformable boss relic, boss, non-boss enemies into coins is what we got. So, yeah, that's the question. We're pretty much cut and clear. Uh, so, yeah, uh, can you realize what triggers your memory is pretty much the question. And how do you remember stuff or what, I guess, the filter or the point of view you get on the things that happen. Because it's a bit hard to realize, like it took me a while to realize for myself that I remember things if I think about them, because now that I got to the point I am in my life, I do realize that, oh, I remember that because I thought that thing when you said it, so it, it definitely has been said, all ones get three managers and godlike. We got godlike things today, what's happening? Is this one better than that, by the way? Uh, a smidgy bit, a smidgy bit. Let's actually go with cooldown on this. And I can even go with Salvo, so it's a shotgun here. Boom, boom. Yeah, I think this is higher DPS-wise. Let's go into spells. And uh, yeah, I don't think I need to reiterate the question further, because I think it's very simple and clean. Uh, what else have I heard about this? 
that's maybe a thing I could add to the discussion. What other point of views I've gotten. Because I also don't really have that much of a memory. As you see, if I did not have the thought about, oh, that's weird or something. Uh, why does that happen? Then I don't remember that that easily. Um, so, yeah, there goes that. Those enemies normally have two eyes, by the way. Mm, what other version do I know? Um, can't remember right now. Honestly, I can't remember right now. Oh, oh, you know what? No, no, no. I remember one more. Like how they made them feel, themselves feel. Like they remember that they felt bad. They felt bad about it, or they felt good about it, and that is why they remember. Like if if something is neutral to them, or they just didn't feel something when it happened, they just straight up don't remember anything about it. So it has to do with, I guess, their own feelings about the thing that keeps their memory. So I remember I felt well about that, or I remember how pretty it was, right? Because they felt so nice or so so in tune with nature when it happened i guess that's how that would work chance to do deal additional damage to a media radius you know what normally i would like to go with these but if i go with arcane explosion explosions i should go with thunder core here uh, and is the idea here that it always explodes on the same spot as i am yeah the explosion happens on the same spot uh, which by the way this this seems a bit faster does the scatter make the aoe smaller no it doesn't also these should be like that Nice. I want to see this in action, actually. I want to see these explosions in action. Oh, this is better. Okay, the build is already coming together. Nice. I do enjoy what we're doing, although we got butterfly opponents here. Nice. Got them. Let's get the money. Uh, and you know what? Let's actually do it over here, because now this thing has a better cooldown, so it should be boom, boom, boom. Oh, this is slower? What? Why is this slower? Oh, this has a very good cooldown and everything. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go with what we had then. Brits and whatnot. Uh, let's open this up. That's literally why I bought the keys and keys within keys. Very nice and very lucky there. So yeah, that's it. I reiterated the point in any way possible. I don't think I need to go deeper into this. It's a very simple question. Uh, when standing still, reduce your casting triple cooldown scatter by 60%. Okay, maybe when entering a room, the quint magic value fall once to zero. That's bad, but this is good. If there is a rare curse, 10% chance to spawn double enemies. This is actually good. And if you go low life... Um, yeah, this is actually really good. I enjoy this. And when you go low life, you heal. This is also decent. I'm thinking about buying both. And when standing still, reduce casting triple cooldown and whatnot. And this is going to be like... Boo, 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 boo. Let's try that. That seems like super stupid. I'm yoling it very heavily. Yep, so we attack faster now by 60%. Off into relic room we shall go. I'm going to have zero mana whenever I go into room. But that's okay. We have mana region anyway. For example, here I'm just sitting in the middle. And I should theoretically have more... Um, more cooldown or whatnot. And also more opponent spawning in general is good because they have a higher chance of dropping money on us. So that's very nice. Uh, money. Money gives you power or gain a shield every time you enter a room. All of these are good. And between these two, I would say just enemies give you money, especially with the fact that I have the curse that I get more enemies. And getting shield is really, really good in general. But uh, I'm okay with not getting the shield. Is that true though? No, I'm gonna get the shield. It's a rare. Let's get the rare. Let's go money now to get more money. And as I said, I'm going to try to do this arcane explosion full screen build, uh, which needs some very specific stuff. I need AoE mainly. I mainly need AoE. And uh, then after that, there are some small things that, you know, for example, when you... What is it called? Things like when the spell ends, it shoots more spells out and whatnot. Those are good things to have. But the main thing I care about is more AoE. AoE. E -O -R, AoE. I don't even know what I'm singing. I was going to find the song. Uh, let's go with max life. We didn't lose life there previously, so that's nice. This is a very, very easy room if this is the whole room. Uh, we got the big spider and the smaller spider. Okay, we have the corner here to protect us. Although it's not going to really protect us. That spider is about to shoot at us, but uh, we can keep it afar. Ah, come on, man. Well, we still have the shielding that never popped. Let's wall that guy in. Uh, go, go, go. Ah. And I even got hit three times. It's okay. Let's also clear out these guys. We got a spell, that's nice. And none of them dropped. Ah, we got a key, actually. I was about to say none of them dropped anything. I mean, I almost have said it. Intem shield equal to the amount lost, up to 50, and then everything becomes a coin. I should have gone everything becomes a coin in this room. Uh, let's go with spells. Uh, I should keep in mind when to press the everything becomes a spell. It's very important. <laughs> the evil Sneckos. The evil Sneckos. I know when I should do that, everything becomes a coin. When I get an enemy that spawns enemies, that spawns enemies, that spawns enemies. Uh, the 60% cooldown. Oh. 
Is there a circle around us? Yeah, there is like a circle around me that slowly goes in. I think that's when it activates, right? So right now I don't have the circle. It's uh, It has a cooldown of 0 0.13. It goes smaller, 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 smaller. And now it's super small. Okay, so that's the idea there. Uh, or or explosion, nice. And thunderstorm, I mean, that's also AoE. Might as well go with this. I'm not gonna go orbiting thunderstorms for sure. So two AoEs is nice. Recoil is higher. I don't even have recoil here. Wait, what? Does this now function? It previously didn't. Yeah, now it does function. It previously, no, it always functioned. I have mana issues <laughs> because of the curse. <laughs> I now realize what the issue is. Uh, recoil. I mean, recoil is a joke, and I don't even have recoil with this build. So yeah, what is this? We got a potion that says levitate. Well, we're gonna drink that potion as it's useless. We're gonna go health, I would say. I would say money, actually. Money is always the play. Once again, mana issues is a thing because of the curse. I'm gonna get rid of all the curses. At some point, we're gonna get that statue that says, you know, that curses go away. And uh, the AoE is the most important aspect to get because if I can have this, I don't move and things explode around me as an AoE. It's gonna be super cool. Yeah, you guys are evil. Da -da 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 -da, come on, Jeremy. Da -da 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 -oh. You thought you're gonna be safe, but you're not. Boom, 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 machine gun, machine gun. Do, do, do. I like this. I like this relic. Should have gotten it last time when I had it as a choice to get it twice. But it is what it is. Last time was nice anyway. Let's see what we get. And let's see how it's gonna go. Upon boss time. Uh, I might switch over to the other weapon in the boss fight, but we're gonna see. Also, I can have poison tentacles. Yeah, poison tentacles might be the play. Obviously, we have mana issues. This has almost no cool. 0 0.5 is not a big cooldown to be afraid of. So let's go into this. Spawn the poison tentacles real quick. Venom spider egg is pretty much countering these point uh, the poison aspect of the poison tentacles. And now we go do 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 no 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 poison on the ground poison on the ground poison on the ground. Let's spawn the tentacles. Boom 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 boom. Machine on the sky boy and got him. He, for some reason, did the wrong maneuvers there. <laughs> that was awesome. I mean, in my book. Let's go on. I feel like the editor was even more correct about this relic. I'm of some concentration. And we found every time you hit every enemy hit with this wand. Points for every enemy hit. Okay, and then we got uh, charge three points every time a spell is cast. Okay, both of these are really good. This is laser beam. I'm gonna go every time a spell is cast. We had this handy wand so many times at this point. But it definitely fits the build. Uh, this has more mana reason though. But it's a laser beam. Who cares about this? Why would I want to do dashing? Yeah, I'm gonna take this and remove the dashing. That's for sure. So this goes away. You, uh, The build I'm using is gonna get transferred down here. I think this has more mana, right? This has 22. This is 19. Yep. This gives 80% mana cost to all the ones. And then here I would say we put like lightning ground on the ground. And maybe even this. Or you know what? This is a good chance for the poison tentacles. Is this on hit or on cast? Spell is cast, so we can be boom, 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 boom Shield gain, also very powerful. And when dying, come back. Now we're gonna get one more wand. And when dying, come back. I mean, I spent 35 health right now to come back with 50 health because I'm gonna have like 90 health here. Yeah, this is always worth it. Let's go. This is not worth it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then now my main wand is this one. And because I have one more slot, I can also put in another passive, like the lightning strike. And uh, yeah, the build is a go. Slowly but surely, we're gonna actually get this going. I want a lot of AoE, so we need to find more spells and then roll into AoE, which is uh, a bit, uh, I guess, I w one would hope to get that. Let's destroy uh, the skeleton heads. And let's not forget the rolls of poisoning of points. Here we go. No poison. Yeah, as long as I'm not moving, we should be super safe. And also, I'm trying to maintain mana control. Yep, because we have crazy attack speed anyway when I'm not moving, so I didn't need to go anywhere. Nice, we won. Let's go on. One more AoE. 
40 healing when I'm low life? I would say yes on this. 20%. Yeah, let's go with 40 healing when I'm low life. So when I have less than 40, I heal up to 40. Uh, max life or shopping? I would say shopping. We have a good chance of getting the spells we want. Max life is always irrelevant. Found one of the spells I want. I'm gonna buy this. Uh, keys? I have five. I think five keys are already good enough. If anything, I would even buy. I would just buy the 11 for two, not this one. Also, we got rares here, which are irrelevant. Mana cost is less, but this is a forced AOE. And let's go side shop here, which is potions most of the time. Choose a relic and roll it. That would be none. And maybe when entering a floor heal. No, I would say none. Is this a remover of curse randomly? That has a 50-50. One out of three to hit the main curse I want, which is when entering a room, lose all your mana. Gain temp shield is nice. Increase mana regen by 200% for room. Eh. In temp shield, gain levitation. Okay, so remove a random curse is the only one that matters. And I'm gonna take it, honestly. I don't think there is any reason. Otherwise, I'm gonna pay 10 plus 20 plus 3D health. That is 60 health to remove the curses. And then I'm gonna slowly heal by 5 at a time. Let's remove a random curse. At least one of them. Oh, please do not hit. It hit the one I didn't want to hit. It hit the more opponent spawn. Good job, game. Good job. I mean, that is Murphy's Law right here. Let's roll through here, trying to find what I care about. Uh, Charge 33 damage dealt above 45. Not really. Mm, what is this? Three points per meter moving distance. When holding this one, move faster. Since when is this with Arcane Explosion? I guess the idea is that... You, Sonic Boom! I guess the idea is that you use dashes. So I would say I play I pay 3d3 to get the Arcane Explosion. This seems very stupid to me. But uh, this is a free wand that does something better than this thing. And I can start getting stuff going on. So this is a bad decision money for value wise. But it's a, the correct decision for the build I am playing wise. And here I would like to put AOE. First of all, not what's what's the crit chance of this? 3d5 with AOE. It's uh it's 25, but the AOE is better, which is important. I mean, I'm gonna say crits, you know why not? And uh volley, scatter, bullets. Does that make sense? I mean it doesn't shoot them together. No, it, it, all three are connected. Yeah, all three are connected. So when I'm running, it's gonna be spawning stuff. Yeah, so when I'm running away, I guess I'm going to be backtracking, therefore this makes sense. At least in my book it makes sense. Right? The idea being opponents are running towards us and I'm like, no, 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 don't catch us. And we shoot randomly. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. Might not be the best thing in the universe. I could also put electricity in this. Nah, we're going to go with bullets. Bulletos. Let's go spells. Uh, before I go though, <laughs> how about picking up things we might need? Recasting, we got the double key that I asked for. Recasting, uh, not really. Maybe double cast or some other kind of rare things that might be better. I don't need to spend money on things I don't care about. Recasting is good though. I'm gonna get a free thing that shoots damage for damage. Hmm. I think this is good, and I should put it like on this thing because it has so many slots, and just put some kind of spells on it. I mean, it's free damage, but I don't want the. I, I want to keep my money, man. I need to reroll. This is the best item in the game though, so we're gonna take that. Expansion stone definitely joins. Definitely joins. Right now it's not needed though, but it sits in my opinion still the best thing in the game. And let's go off. I'm just waiting for my mana to fill. And let's go. I mean my mana is obviously not full, but still it is a thing. Every time we cast here we get some tentacles. Let's also open up, what is this? It's a relic that gives us 25% crit damage. That's actually really good as we are a crit damage build anyway. Uh, I got hit here. That's okay because we have the shielding. This guy with the bombs always hits me by the way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Didn't get hit for once. Uh, are these enough opponents to get money out of them? No. I don't know which opponents exactly give you the most money here. That was stupid. It doesn't matter though because I have 5 healing per room entered so irrelevant. Rare, butterfly, a lot of people told me to play the butterfly build. Uh, let's go butterfly duration. Let's say we go butterflies here over these and let's go duration on them. Okay, might as well move with butterflies. Let's go level up. Yeah, I can move with butterflies, that's a safe option as always. This doesn't even spend mana. I'm gonna continue my explosions. I definitely want more AoE. I definitely want my AoE to be more powerful. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, you're not gonna actually allow to do anything. I don't need to move here. Madness! Madness! Yeah, that's what I like. This relic is super cool. 
Slow down time for 12 seconds. Let's... Nah. Butterflush. Butterflush, flush. Butterflush. Um... Yeah, I guess... I'm gonna just drink that. Yeah, slow down time for 12 seconds. Whoa. Also, people told me that if I break this, something happens, but I don't have any of the spells that break that. Meteor is the main thing that does that. Uh, let's spawn butterflies. Which I think these guys can deflect. Yeah, they can deflect them. But at the same time, it's also relevant to us. As uh, I can destroy the butterflies easily. Go, little butterflies. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, these are eyes. Yep, that was very obvious. Let's not allow them to do anything to us. I'm seeing spikes over there, but the butterfly is just straight up going on their own to the path to kill the opponent. I like this so much. I'm gonna do a real butterfly build at some point for sure. Spells or relics? Uh, I would say relics. We don't have that much money for spells to be worth it. Uh, are there enough opponents on the board? I don't think so. Yeah, it's like seven or something. I wouldn't really say it's worth it. Whoa. Let's go stay away. Maybe the boss... If the boss is the one that spawns little pets, because there is a boss that does that. Double the amount of keys you currently own. You know what? We're gonna drink that right away. Uh, not right away. We might get the relic that says potions give you more potions, or potions give you more stats or whatever. We're gonna wait a bit. Ah, I should have used the bomb for breaking that for a key. It's okay. Let's see what relic we're gonna get. Immune to poison and venom. I'm gonna get that. And uh, now we're gonna actually drink the double the keys you have. Boom, we have 12. 12 keys is literally the whole game. So we don't need any more keys. And let's continue. And let's also have the opponents become coins at hand. Check out. Mm, mm, I would say spells, obviously. Uh, we got bomber boys. Let's see if there is anything that needs to get bombed. Get away from me, that's gonna pop. I think you need to run towards where the explosion started if you don't want to get hit. This is really what it feels like. Are there butterflies poisonous? You know what, I should make the butterflies poisonous. Yeah, I should make the butterflies poisonous better than the tentacles. In my opinion, at least. And the tentacles are good and all, but... It's not butterflies. Boom. Yeah, now these are green. <laughs> Resonance rune, yeah, free casting. And duration and spellbound. Spell bouncing. Uh, free casting, definitely. And then we're gonna go with, I guess, more explosions. I don't know. More explosions. When I cast explosions, cast, not cast explosions. Okay, theoretically, this boss should be easy. Theoretically. Practically, who knows. Whoa, what? what? That was a very weird interaction. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my mana to fill up. Yeah, let's go. Da -da 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 Bye, enemy. Whoop, I'm gonna get hit. I did already get hit. Shoot out all my butterflies for the poison hit. This is such a weird interaction. Okay. Uh, man, that's that's a very weird boss. Uh, I need to fight this thing like five or six more times to understand how exactly you're supposed to avoid this. I guess you're supposed to do big moves so that his shots are weirdly, weirdly mannered. It's okay though, we still get healing, and we also have healing when we enter a room, so... Who cares? Axe mana, not thunder core, or navigation. Navigation... I guess I would go max mana to roll it into arcane explosion or something, because it's a common level plus, and thunder core because I'm playing with thunder core anyway. We're gonna continue with relics, I would say. There is an AoE relic that I care about. We don't have that much money for this anyway. I'm gonna get spell rooms later. At least that's what I'm thinking. I might be wrong about that, obviously. Uh, I would like to get the anti-curse man. I want to get rid of the stupid... Uh, I don't start with mana. Okay, we lost nothing for that. One thing here. Enemies cannot detect you until... Oh, you know what? I think these are enough opponents. Oh, this thing spawns opponents. Even better. Yeah, let's make money out of this now. Let's go. Yeah, it's not that many, but it's okay. Enemies cannot detect you, it is what it is. By the way, when I spawn butterflies, this thing has the 20% chance to cast, so that's a combo that's happening. Uh, randomly upgrade one relic you already have, not upgraded the relic slots, let's go. Might be the best choice we got here. I'm gonna go lightning again. I know I can go with more max mana, but that's a bit irrelevant right now. 
Uh, I would say we go with shopping, so I maybe buy more AoE or more King Explosions. I should buy nothing else. Nothing else. Only the things we care about. Only the things we care about. Maybe a book. But otherwise, I would say nothing else. Straight up full screen explodos, boys. What is this? Mana cost is less. It has a huge cooldown though. Nope. Uh, again, the exact same thing. Butterflies again. This is a, a bad book. Like, it has low mana region and whatnot, but it has a lot of slots. That's the idea of that. I don't need it, though. Mm, damage dealt. No. I'm looking at these two, by the way. Uh, this is a powerful build, and that's it. Uh, this just feels like a good want. Uh, what's this thing's base mana given? Well, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 slots. She doesn't actually have 6 slots, right? Or is this the same here happening? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 slots. And the same stats. Has a bit more scatter, which is relevant, but better cooldown in stats. So, um... No, this has 0 0.1 and 0 0.35 with this. It's 0 0.15, so it has less. But it's irrelevant because we only care about the cooldown. So this just gives us damage. Mm, I don't want to pay 35 for that, though. I need the money for rerolling. And discriminate damage is not that crazy. Well, yes, we found the perfect wand here. Nice, so all effect wand radius is increased. I will keep the free butterflies. I will keep everybody mana region. I will keep everything's cheaper. We're gonna throw away the point casting thing. So uh, yeah, we buy this guaranteed. And it actually has the slots that I get for free. So that's nice. And now my explosion just became bigger. And not only that, but we also got more AOE. Triple AOE that is. So this should be super crazy now. I would say let's go mana, max mana on this. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. And I didn't find anything that I wanted here, by the way. So let's just go on. Money room. Let's go. So obviously, we still have the issue with mana start. But that's it. Explode boy, come down here, please. And die right here. Go. No! So close. So close. Go, explosion. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Uh, what are we gonna do? Next! Next! I love it. It's coming together. It's coming together. Cusco meme right here. Boom. Let's go. And uh, let's continue. Now I actually got the comboing relic. Nice. Okay, I need to pay attention here because otherwise I'm gonna get cursed. Give me a second to focus. It starts like a joke, but then it actually becomes super fast. Okay, done middle. Easy life. By the way, can you track this or have you lost at this even a single time? I'm not sure if you have seen all the videos right now, but, you know, ask. Uh, not ask, that's my question. I would say let's go with spending money time to start powering up my build. And I got another spell coming in. Very nice. So I would say we first and foremost reroll stuff. Uh, first of all, we were going to combine this. And I would say we straight up reroll the leveled up things, like the max mana. Which is how much? 80%. 315 from 175. I mean, I'm gonna definitely rule the magic bullet here, although it increases the damage we do. Uh, because I want to either get the Arcane Explosion leveled up. First of all, I can level up the Arcane Explosion. Nice, so here we go. So this is bigger AoE and also generate the Arcane Explosion in a radius of 0 0.7 when killing an enemy. Okay, this is insane, obviously. What would this look like? Uh, it's the exact same thing. This mana box is not needed, honestly. Uh, what I want to get with the mana box is mana regen. Oh, by the way, I can do this now. Boom. Bah. Da -da 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 explosion starts. No, no, no. I want to be the center of the explosion. The opponents, no. Rebound, no. Speed, no. That's for the butterflies. Butterflies, no. Laser, no. Slow down, no. Laser, no. A triple explosion. Perfect. That's exactly perfect. Yep. Now I have explosion. That spawn explosions. My mana is a bit less, but this is definitely what I would like to have. And let's now also re-roll the magic bullet here. So maybe I can roll into another useful thing. Snack goes no oh, damage. Damage is in general a good idea. Now the question is if I put the stone in and the damage, what's the difference? So from 30 damage that this thing does right now, it's gonna go to 3d4. So the difference is actually increase. Therefore, we just straight up get the damage, and that's it. We lose nothing. We lose 75%, we gain 50. Therefore, we are in a positive. Uh, there is no reason for us to actually combo these yet. 
has three 3D percenters, give you more than uh, one 60 percenter. Therefore, these stay as they are. And I'm gonna, I would say, let's start re-rolling maybe the rares so that I can get another Thunder Core, which is very powerful. Or you know what, just, no, 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 not the rares. We're gonna re-roll the commons because the commons might give us what we actually want. Uh, what would I put down here, by the way, in the resonance room slot? I guess nothing. It's only far as when we move. Yeah, I, th I guess nothing for now. It doesn't matter what the resonance room slot's gonna be. Let's let's actually roll the rebounds. Tentacle heads, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Let's roll this now. Into maybe a tentacle upgrade. Okay. That should make it with that fire even faster. Yeah, th that's not needed though. And honest, honestly, this is also not needed. Yeah, because we have mana issues in the first place. But uh, might as well keep them. I mean, might as well have better cooldown in general. I don't think there is any downside to that ever. Other than the fact that we're not going to be able to attack. Uh, let's throw this away now. Nice, we got another AoE. Perfect. So I would say forget the cooldown, go with the AoE. We continue maintaining the idea that more 3D percenters are better. Uh, also, this makes it so expensive. I don't think I need explosions that pop, pop explosions. Yeah, this is 400 DPS right now. And... Uh, well, I need to fill my mana. Yeah, I think this is not worth it. This 50% higher mana cost, although it gives us five smaller explosions. Why would I even care about that? Yeah, DPS is 420. If I throw this out and we wait a little bit, I think it's going to be more than 400. It might even be the same. Um, it is a bit less, but I can attack more often. You know what? Let's reroll the split. I have one chance to reroll it, by the way. And it rolled in something useless. It is what it is. Uh, we're gonna go with... We randomly cast... Uh, by the way, let's go with cooldown here because there is also no reason to not go with cooldown. I'm gonna say we randomly cast lightning ground on the ground once in a while. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. So we have close-up opponents dying. Our choice would obviously be to just go with Key's head and just get a bunch of pets going on. But I think we're gonna go with electricity here. Electricity's better. That's while moving, shoot out butterflies. By the way, we have so many useless things here. Like, Volley should have not even been here. I don't know why I forgot to throw Volley away. I was throwing stuff that I don't need away. Well, uh, that I need away. Let's go. Let's stay in the middle of the map. Because that's literally the only thing I need to be doing. Wait for it. Da -da 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 Explosion slowly. Wait for it. Yep, opponents are not gonna do anything. No, 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 no. You think they're gonna do something, but they're not. Also, let's not forget that every time I kill something... I create a new explosion. Oh, I haven't discriminated damage, so that means I can now actually pop those. We got the rare I'm gonna get, and I might as well go with this. So discriminate damage goes to the final one. Let's go four. Pop one. Pew tuck. Oh. I guess I I need to put it better. It doesn't explode on contact. Can I do this? Can I make this? Oh, it actually popped there. It did. Nice, let's go. Night was nothing. People told me that the knights regenerate. Thing. They didn't. Uh, let's go with spellos. Spellzos. I don't have money for anything else anyway. Things explode that explode. No, 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 no. Man, I have to say, the fact that uh, when something dies, more can explosions happen and then everything just straight up dies. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Residence rune and for. Yeah, we're gonna buy both of these because there are things we already have. And they are gonna help us do more damage. Let's go here. I'm gonna go in the middle of the map, and we're gonna already charge up and go. Ta da 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 da. Next, up more opponents. Ta da 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 da. Next, up more opponents. Ta da 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 da. I love this. I love this. We're super duper out of mana, <laughs> but up oh, opponents around us. No. <laughs> I love it. This is super awesome. Mana regen is guaranteed. Yes. Berserk. Who cares? And the other one, once again, who cares? What happened? Why did this drop to zero for a second? I don't know. They spend a lot of mana. Ah, it spends a decent amount of mana. Uh, let's go. This is always the same. Yellow, red, and then blue. It's always like uh, one or two are doubles. Ah, oh, no, that was a mistake. Blue and then yellow over here in the corner. Let's go again. Boom and boom. Easy. And we got a Grimoire, which Grimoires are always completely busted. So Grimoire, I think I should be using. You know what I should also be using? <laughs> Guardian Wand is the thing I should also be using. So you go here, and does this now make me fly off, or does it fly off on itself? Somebody said I should make the Grimoires 
I have lightning so that they bounce around. Let's see how that's gonna look. We're gonna go spells guaranteed. So we now have uh, automatically casting grimoires that bash. Yeah, th th there it is. It's it's that thing. It's not spawning grimoires though. I spawned the grimoire just now. So this grimoire theoretically should just start bouncing around when this fills up, right? Fire. Oh, it, it no, it fires the, the other ones. Uh, I wouldn't say this is what I would like to have. Forget the grimoire. Forget this. You're just gonna be slowly spawning his head. That's it. Uh, lightning dash again. We already have this, so we might level it up when you get more of them. In charging mode, might as well. Should I try charging mode on this? Da 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 da. Kaboom! Da 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 da. Kaboom! I mean, let's say over over cooldown, not over AOE. Boom! Let's try it. Uh, not on the boss fight though. On the boss fight. Boom! I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, no, I prefer the. Wow, 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 we had. And let's go fight and let's go fight in the boss. I'm moving. We got keys head summoning up. We got thunderstorm summoning. Got a bunch of things summoning for free. Uh, let's go. Honestly, I would say this is better than this. Whoa! I don't know what I'm doing, man. I, I know exactly what I'm doing, and not what I should be, which is killing the boss. I got hit for no reason, and we lost access to the secret. That's a loop de loop if I ever saw one. I wouldn't say we have the craziest the, the craziest the craziest DPS we ever had in this video in this game. But it's decent. I mean it's it's full AoE. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for you, man. Ten ten. I'm gonna be in the corner actually, I'm not ready. Laser beam incoming. I got hit. Well I got hit anyway. Exploding! Okay, you stay here in the middle of my lightning shots. Nope, I got hit again, I think. Laser beams. In, gen in general, you should stick close to the boss if you want to avoid laser beams. And then you, stick to you should stick to the corners in case you don't want to get hit by the stupid boss doing these moves. That's it. Saying stupid, but I'm not really meaning it. Oh. Go, butterflies. And we won. Easy enough. Easy enough. I think this is better. Let's see what we get. Uh, as a wand is what I mean. I do enjoy my mana cost wand and my mana region wand. This is the only one I really don't care about. And I found the the actual one I'm gonna be using, I guess, because this makes mana cost even cheaper. I don't care about this. When kill spawn keys head, it's good. Don't get me wrong, keys head is good to have. But I do prefer. Yeah, no, I don't care about this. Let's go here. Let's go with uh, it makes things even cheaper. And uh, now we're gonna switch these because this says all wands have more AoE. I'm just gonna put everything on the one that says this specific wand is cheaper. And we even had a stone there, which I don't even need to use. The black holes are also not needed to use. So right now I was doing 23 damage. I'm gonna be doing 30 damage. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't have the damage. 45. Yeah, 34. Yeah, we don't need expansion at all. Here I'm gonna say that Key's head are gonna be poisoning, critting, this is useless. Enhanced duration, yeah, why not? Movement speed not around us, that's good. I think we're good here, and then we also cast electricity on the ground. So we cast Key's heads and electricity on the ground. We go with butterflies again. You know what, let's go butterflies because we have fast moving. More duration butterflies, I do enjoy this a smidge more. Or I could go black holes. What would that look like? Black holes. First of all, what is happening is insane. Uh, I think black holes without tracking is very mech, so let's go with butterflies. And as you see, we shoot extremely fast. If I move, it's this. If I don't move, it's... We have so much mana. This is a very good wand. The asteroid. I could go another cooldown, and I could go also another electricity. And all of that without even using the stone. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Love it. I don't need the rest anyway. Let's go. Let's go to the final zone, which we have a lot of. I don't think we should have a lot of DPS. I still am having the issue with I start with no mana. That's still a thing we are going through. The curse. Okay, we got him. No, you're not going to pull me in. Whoop. Actually, I don't even need to do anything. I just wait here. And then when my mana is ready, I'm just... 
Um, I'm just waiting. I would like to get enough health uh, money so that I can buy the one that says use my mana instead of using any other mana because that's gonna literally double my mana regen. What, what do you think you're doing? Oh, these are, I thought they were laser beams, but they're just arrow shots, so it's very irrelevant. Nice. And what is this? Immune to all damage for eight seconds. The best. Yeah, let's go. I don't care about the invisibility. Money against spells. Obviously, we're gonna go spells here. Although money is gonna help us reroll our spells, which should give us more value in the long run than going spells, right? Because I have so many things I need to reroll. So I would say we go money so that I can go into reroll the spells shop after this money. Do you agree or disagree with this is my question. I think that is the correct decision, but maybe somebody has a better point of view on this than me. Whoop. Also having some kind of way of not getting uh, hit by bullets would be nice. Bye bye you. Whoop, avoid. Hey look, it's a bunch of opponents. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Instant death. Money. And here is a shop, which I don't care about. Yeah, but I will go into the shop over going into the relics. I don't really need that more, more relics. I'm just going to try to force specifically the w things I want. Uh, that's a useless wand. Obviously, the wand I would like to get here is going to cost too much, which is pretty sad, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to get either AoE or things I care about. Oh, another storage wand. Besiege, two times damage. Uh, for 52, is a bit too expensive. This is uh, also a bit too expensive. And I found a Mimic Tube, which Mimic Tubes always are good because I can now Mimic with the extended range. Therefore, I can combine the ranges. I'm going to get that. Definitely. Always, always, always buy Mimic Tube. Scatter for a thing. Oh, another Mimic Tube. We're definitely buying this too. So now we're super duper deep into the build I actually want to be in. Nope. And what is this? Black. Ooh, this would have been so much better. This is 80 mana cost over this is 90 mana cost. And this is also huge. 51 coins is a bit expensive, but the less a scatter is irrelevant to us. And it also, the cooldown is also relevant as I have triple cooldown reduction. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh. What's my damage right now, by the way? About 700. Electricity is not really helping. Uh, I would say let's remove some cooldown because we have mana issues anyway. And let's make them damage, is what I would say. Yeah, my cooldown is still insane, as you can see. As long as I'm not moving. If I'm moving, it's a normal cooldown. We still have mana issues, so I think this is good. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. More, you know, m my damage, doing more damage is more important than us having a good cooldown. This thing, the moment it's gonna split, it's gonna die. Hey, splitting. Da -da 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 -da. Next. Next. Is that it, actually? No, it's not. Wait for the cooldown. Go, 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 machine gun madness. What? Next. Another one of these. I didn't want to move. Let's go! <laughs> the fact that when opponents die from their recurring explosion, they split into more recurring explosions. That's what makes the difference here. And I got hit again, but it's okay, we can heal. Heal 10? No. We're gonna go potions, Give you have a chance to give you potions. I'm going shopping again, we might find more stuff. I don't care about health, honestly. Uh, we might find more stuff that we are actually using, so that I can get the build of Global Arcane Explosion. Let's roll them. I found another Mimic Cube, which I'm gonna obviously buy, and another Lightning, which I cannot buy. The only thing I can buy is whatever this thing is gonna drop us. And we found an Arcane Expo. Oh, that was so sad. It could not have been more sad than what just happened. And yeah, we might still find AoE or damage. Wow, we found the best one in the game. Also very sad. <laughs> we don't have money, so I can't do anything about it. What is this? No. I, I'm just looking for that. And we found the wand again for 60. So at least I know that they cost 60 now. Uh, because I got it twice and got, it cost 60 both times. Well, what would I have thrown away though? All ones mana cost 80% is more value, valuable. All ones mana region plus 3. I, I think all man, ones mana region is worse. Because this pretty much gives us 3 mana region on my wand. And the universe thingy gives you whatever region that thing has. Right? Because that thing has like 10 mana region or something, so it's as if all ones get 10 mana region, this is all ones get 3. It's not exactly like that if you sit down and do the math, but it's almost like that. Let's buy random stuff. Uh, I'm gonna definitely go money because I want to go to spell shop in a moment. Hopefully one of these two are gonna be the spell shop. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here and hit you. Nice. And we're gonna improve by a lot the moment I can go to spell shop because I'm gonna combine my, my things that can combine. And then I'm gonna use the... 
instead of the cold. I'm gonna use the mimic cubes to get value out of whatever I combined. Because I have three mimic cubes, so I can combine the mimic cubes too. And that's gonna be a lot of value. I think we should be able to get a spell shop exactly. Here we go. I'm gonna definitely go here. 34 coins is enough. And here we got one of the better things that we can get, which is combine three of your things into a higher level thing. So I would say uh, we combine the... Th Don't I have... Yeah, three mimic cubes. I think we combine the three mimic cubes and the three AoEs. First of all, we definitely combine the three AoEs. And this for sure. 50% cooldown. And the three AoEs. So now I would say uh, we either go with... Oh no, I don't combine the mimic cubes. For sure I don't combine the mimic cubes. Because we have so much room here that is not needed. Okay. So next thing I would say is let's take my worst things. Which is key set. Um, my, I would say let's combine rares. Yeah, let's not combine commas. Let's combine rares. So the black hole, these four. So you combine things here and you get um, a similar thing. You, 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 and you. Use them. A rare leveled up. Tracking shots, pretty useless. Might as well go here. Now that I'm thinking about that, I should not have rerolled rares. I should have rerolled, I should have combined commons so that I can roll here. The stone stays. Let's just have things that stay on the ground. Uh, yeah, these are all gonna stay. Yeah, these are gonna stay. Charging mode is useless. These are useless. Commons in the front. I guess I kept the commons so I can roll them more. Uh, this should go here. And these are all gonna go. Yeah, these are all useless. Let's roll. But yep, we found mana regen. That stays. Nope. Mana explosion stays. No, that's gonna just maybe combine. I see that guaranteed stays. Mana regen perfect. We got god rolls today. Nope. Uh, I can combine that. Am I using... Uh, I wouldn't say I want to combine these. Nice, that's actually better. So... Obviously, combo the mana regions is what I would say. To put them here. Yes, and now I think the time has come to combo the mimics so that the mimics combo uh, copy the AOE, I guess. And I can put another AOE in. On that vein, though, we're gonna lose. Ah, I could also just do this. By the way, these should all be to the very right. The lightning should be over here. Yeah, and, in, and in general, I should have things that are buffing the right side on the left side. So right now, this is the thing. Okay, let's maybe switch into more AoE. Almost global. One more AoE. I think we're good here with one more AoE. Although once again, I can just combine the mimics and then put one more lightning in. Do I have anything else? Maybe even crit chance. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that. So let's combine the mimics so I can fit more things in. Yep, so the Mimic now co copies the big AoE. Which gives us less AoE, but we can have a Punar AoE in, and oh, not Duration. And also one more crit chance. Let's roll the Duration, or the Rares. I could also roll the Rares into Mimics, now that I'm thinking about this. Let's roll the Rares into Mimics. That might be a thing. This stays for sure. Nope. Yep, easy enough. And uh, the next thing I don't care about is crits, so let's go Mimic here. And not the Lightning though, the AoE. Yep, we got global AoE, which is exactly what I wanted. Let's also make this into a mimic. Double shots. No, we keep the double shots. Double shots is 50% more mana, but double the damage. It's always worth it. Uh, I guess with the lightning. Yeah, this is literally, I just got double damage. So let's double check if this is actually correct. See if we get double damage. I'm gonna wait for full mana. Okay, and let's go. So we did 500. Well, if I had a lightning over the double shot... It's gonna be... Wait for the poison to go away. It's gonna be more than 500, less. It's more than 500 because I can shoot more often. Okay, so this is also useless then. Let's roll it one last time. Crits, that's definitely better though. Uh, let's try that now. So from 500... Go up to... Uh, 700 about. It was 600 previously. I think crit's better. Also, I have crit damage sword, so my crits do more damage. This is 3% crit rate, right, crit rate right now. It might even be better than the lightning strike, by the way. Like this crit we have here. Let's see how much damage this did. Almost the same. I think going for crits is better. That's just damage multiplication over the chance to do the lightning strike. 
which can go here, and uh, I think we can go a uh, higher duration, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Can I combine anything that I'm not aware of? No, we're good. Both mimics are copying AoE. I think we're good here. Let's go. Hey, boss. I don't have AoE. Uh oh, we also don't have damage. Yeah, the one definite thing is that this guy is never going to be able to do anything to us. Other than the purple versions of his attacks. Nope. Nope. I need to maintain mana, by the way, so I can actually block those attacks. Nope. I got hit. Forget the nopes. I literally got hit. Yep. Nice. Man, the curse that I get mana is extremely stupid. And not that it affects me that much. It only affects me up to one point. I think he's about to go to phase two, which means he's gonna start spawning a bunch of random stuff. Also, I start believing that I have already full screen damage, so I should switch a couple of mimics into damage. And I think we won. Whoop, he tries to go close to us. No, 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 no. That's his final move. And he's gone. Very nice. Almost hit us, but he didn't. Let's see if I can get something awesome here. Spellbreaker level up. This is gonna win the final fight. We're gonna definitely go to explosion level up. Uh, do I want to beat the final fight? Honestly speaking, I don't care about it. Might as well get it, though. Better than the poison, for sure. So, might as well have recasting of this going on. The sword is moving us forward. Does the sword moving us... Oh, the sword moving us does not make us count as a move, so that's nice. Uh, we've got an erection explosion, which is not really that useful for us. So, I think we're good. I said I would like to switch one of these. Yeah, let's maybe go with a bit more damage going. Could go with even more damage, by the way. But that's very low then. No, no, no. I don't want low AoE. I want to have high AoE. The rest is his three. And uh, let's go. Still having the mana issues. <laughs> Still having the mana issues. Whoop. Opponent spawning. No. I like how I can literally see which one is the real one because when they blink. They are blinking. Oh, it didn't happen this time. Well, it's that one because it's poisoned. <laughs> well, let's go. 130 crit damage, by the way. Nice. Full screen explosion. That's what we get. And potions give you more stuff or a chance to dodge. These are all irrelevant. I guess chance to dodge. I don't know. We have two coins, so there is no reason to go into shop. Therefore, we go into money. And when I mean money, I mean health, obviously. Whoop. Okay, we've got an enemy that has a lot of health. This guy has like 3,000 health. I checked it. Oh, the sword instantly blocked that thing. Whoop, avoid. I'm trying my best. I have sword attacks to deflect his shots. Sword attacks go? Nope. Or I don't. He's jumping! Whoa, 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 whoa. I've never seen that pattern before. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. So he damaged us and then died. Cannot attack within two seconds of anything damage. That's gonna kill me, literally. That's one of the more dangerous ones to get. Curse that is. Did I literally never find the anti-curse? Or am I just blind? Reduce projectile speed. That's a bit the relevant to us. That's like a non-curse. Sword swings galore. Whoa. Deflected back to him. Yeah, I'm literally deflecting attacks with my sword swings. Explosions. By the way, now that I'm here at this point of the video, I would say, uh, I guess, epilepsy warning. A bit too late, of course, for anybody that actually has the issue. Whoop, attacks. Sword swing, sword swing. You know what? I want to have more chances to sword swing. Forget the butterflies. I'm gonna go with twice the chance to sword swing. I evaded more opponents. Let's not forget that everything, something dies, an explosion is supposed to happen. So we explode explosions. Arcane? Nope. Mana region, though, yes. Fucking ball, who cares? Uh, I guess my on the sword swings. And Ration lightning strikes. Poison on them. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, let's go money, nice. What is this? I cannot attack, right? Project the speed less. Uh, this is irrelevant to us. We're gonna open this up. Ah, uh, we traded a bad curse with 20 health. Uh, not a bad curse. Uh, a who cares curse with 20 health. I really enjoy that when opponents die, just a bunch of explosions happen. That's the most awesome aspect of arcane explosions. 
Nope, easy enough. Nice. We got money. One of them is gonna be a spell room. Nope, it's a shop. Uh, I guess we go money again. Yes, we still have two choices. Very nice. Money again to high roll into another spell shop. That's what I'm thinking here. And in that spell shop, I should have enough things to maybe get a leveled up version of Arcane Explosion. Man, there's explosion that explode. Da -da 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 boom, come on, explode. Okay, we're gonna wait. And the moment this spawns, boom, these explode and then all explode. And then that explodes, the boss that explodes. Exaplow. And we found, once again, none of the things we want. I'm gonna go spell room, obviously. Let's see if I can get something awesome here. And our curse. Slow down projectiles that are close to you. You a chance to take one damage and collecting coins or diamonds. Or uh, remotely control your explosions, but let's not. You know what? I would say... Then I don't care about it. Let's go. And uh, I'm gonna go spells over relics. Okay, this is a broken door. Why are these broken doors even a thing? Is my question. I don't think these broken doors should even exist. Uh, I mean, yeah, like why do they exist? Or at least, at least, at least, there should be a meta progression that says that you can have more doors, I guess. Or you know, broken doors are no longer a thing. That would be a nice meta progression to have. If you have five type curses, you can remove them all. You know what? I can do that on the final boss. Uh, yes, on the resonance rune. And I guess we're going to go accelerator. Let's go resonance rune on my thing here that I'm using. Uh, let's move the lightning. So I want this sword to be happening more often is what I care about. Uh, let's go with immune to all damage. Definitely no. Let's go with 50 shield, which is zero for us. Let's go with tier of the goddess. Which is, uh, if I have five curses, we're into relic room here, and we still have a choice between two. These guys, by the way, the um, lizard or whatever, these guys, they have like 800 health or something, but then there is like a blue version that has 3000. So that, that thing's like a mini boss. As, like, I think the zone two bosses, yeah, this is it. So you're gonna see it's gonna survive for a long while. Yep. A good thing I can deflect, then he's dead. Money is power, relic options plus one to him damage. I'm going to do him some damage. Money is power is not going to happen. I shop again. We're going to go shop over myself for sure. And final boss, I can't really do anything about it. We were not allowed to reroll our spells. I will still try my best though. Because we might still have a ch chance to reroll my spells. Ch chance to reroll my spells at the final boss. I don't have enough money for this. I don't care about these either. Uh, if I get the lightning, I can actually combine them. So I'm going to definitely buy this. Uh, what is this? Poison. I could also combine the poisons, right? Or do I only have one? I only have one. I had access to get two poisons when I found them both. Oh, Mimic Cube for 56. Nope. Stone for 20. Theoretically, yes, but practically no. We have a lot of room here. Like, the, the accuracy can go. And I have a stone anyway. Like, I don't need another stone. Uh, thing stays on the ground. No. And we found damage. I'm gonna definitely buy damage. Uh, what's better, crit chance or damage? 59 damage. How much is this going to bring it up to? 66. So that is a 7 damage increase. 7 damage increase is... Is it actually 25%? No, 7 damage is not 25% from... 50... Uh, I think we're going to go damage. Just straight up, not even care about it. My crits are 10% chance to do... Well, the crits are 250, so 10% 200. That's 25%. So the crits are 25% damage. 25% damage is more than that, I think, because it gives you base damage, which then can increase in to, in to even more damage. To the boss, immune to all damage for the final boss. I would like to try to get hit by two curses on the final boss here. Because I can have exactly five curses and then just drink it, boom, and be gone with them. So we'll try to do this. And let's see how this can go. Yeah, you spawn stuff, doesn't matter to me. I have mana issues. Uh, I would like to get hit by the curses early than later. One and one more. Come on, it's a different one, drink. Done. I got rid of them very quickly. Oh, I got hit by one. What is this? Well, the captions minus one, literally not a curse. What is this potion? Double the amount of keys you currently own. Might as well drink it. One of the very few times where the boss... I have 24 keys, by the way. One of the very few times where the boss did not just curse us twice. Okay, now he did the thing again. So stay away from these guys. Uh, loop around. He's doing rotating shots. I think the boss goes to the next phase. Yep, the open eye phase. 
I have to say, when one of the few times I'm not completely naturally bust. Oh, I deflect these. I deflect these with my sword attacks. I don't need to move. Attack speed madness. Yep, the sword attacks, man. I'm telling you. Mana regen. Nope, that thing's not gonna survive. Deflect. As long as my sword is firing whenever it decides to fire. Is the boss on the right side? Yeah, it's on the right side. It's a bit weird, by the way, how this functions. Can I deflect these? No, I cannot. Whoa, panny, panny. Oh, no, 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 no. Foo. Almost got hit by reverse direction. That would have definitely killed us. Uh, not killed us, but I would have gotten 50,000 curses. That's definitely a thing. Whoop. Avoid curses again. Oof. Stop shooting. Go to the other side. These things can track me through the other side. Come on, stop being cursed. Oh, nice. Okay, spawn things. Doesn't matter. Nice. This is actually the perfect thing that you could do. Uh, you just give me shots that I can deflect back at you, and we're good. Man, regen. Go a bit. Stay away. I hate the go. Oh, no, 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 too much. Too many things. Too many things. No, reverse directed. The moment this runs out, I'm gonna get hit. I didn't run out yet. I, I did run out right just now. I got worms on us. I think this has killed me five times now. These worms that are chasing me right now, I've died from these. Oh, not five times. I overstated the number. But I'm half-life, he's about to do reverse direction, and I got cursed twice. Reverse direction here. I'm still reverse directed. And we got him, let's hope the curses are a joke, and we're gonna go off to the final boss. He died, let's loop around, what are the curses? This is the build, with 40 health I left at the end. Wow, this is this was my biggest struggle today. Reduce projectile speed, that's not a curse. Cannot attack within 2 seconds of everything damage. This is a super duper heavy curse that is literally gonna kill us. I just got the worst curse possible. Literally the worst curse possible. And here I would say I'm gonna win if I can get the one that gives us the mana. So the mana wand is what I would like to have. With uh, the mana region thrown away. And we get the Avada Kedavra. Wand of Infinity. Mana cost is less. I also get enhanced damage. Or I can get the MP cost less. Charge 3 points every time you hit. with Every enemy hit with this wand. 70% mana cost. So the idea obviously is you shoot these out and then these fill these up and then these shoot anything else out. I think this is a play with the sword attacks. I put like these things into this wand plus a stone so that this becomes an actual spell that casts very often and then when this spell hits the opponents very often, opponents will start um, generating sword strikes for us. That's what we're gonna use. So, uh, everything at 3 mana region is a bit irrelevant right now. Radius is more important. Uh, mana cost is less and more important. Mana cost is less and more important. I'm gonna go here, here, duration up. And I think, yeah, when this fires, I want the Spellbreaker to fire. Uh, mana region is a bit irrelevant here. Uh, I would say tracking shots are more relevant so that the, or the black holes stay on the boss. And then this is on hit, so it's gonna be like... And this is gonna charge up very fast this thing and then we're gonna also go with i guess lightning strikes and uh, that's it literally it yeah let's go on to the next one to the next room okay so now that i got this curse we're gonna obviously lose because the moment i get hit i cannot attack anymore and then that's the end let's go combining spells that was a bit lucky yeah and now this word you see this word attacks yeah now i cannot control my character <laughs> i literally cannot control my character so we shoot these out, or they actually shoot themselves out, because I do the explosions. Yeah, now this is me. Whoa, this is me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is so fun and weird, but I love it. Do I have a lot of... Ah, scatter 140%. Nice. That's why this word is this weird. Uh, let's first of all go over to the right side, which has combined a bunch into a thing. We have money here. That's nice. So... Uh, booby traps no longer needed. We're gonna throw that away. Are we gonna throw comments in here? First of all, lightning is ready. I guess we're gonna go with comments on that. In that, do I need the leg wire? I don't think I need the leg wire. Yeah, I can just shoot the orbs myself. I don't need the leg wire specifically. Uh, they go faster. So we're gonna say leg wire, crits, rock and ball, and one more common arcing explosion. I guess. Is that a good idea? I have two arcane explosions lined up, leveled up. So if I can get... I don't think this is a good idea. No, no, no. 
I think I should reroll these. And then if I don't find... Or, or... No, 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 no. I should combine these and just roll the thing that comes out of them. Which I could just do that with a thunderstorm. Let's roll the thunderstorm. Into our game explosion. Okay, I found damage, so... This stays. I guess... I have two crits. Let's throw... Oh, I have stuff I don't care about. Throw the durations out. You are useless. You and you too. Okay. I found the resonance rune. Nice. I can get another resonance rune. Combo the lightnings. Combo the resonance rune is. Nice. So resonance rune goes here. Resonance rune goes here. The super lightning goes on my main stat block. 50% chance to do 150% damage. Uh, super level up goes here. Cooldown is cool super relevant at this point, right? Yeah, I don't need cooldown. We have mana issues anyway. Look at my DPS. What is this? I've never had... I have 10,000 DPS right now. Okay, so this is actually happening. Sword strikes, love it. So, yeah, th this is useless. I'm gonna roll the force cooling into um, seven coins and I'm out of money. Ah, I didn't get it. I never got it. It is what it is. Uh, do I need these or could I go like that? I think I can also go like this. Yeah, I think we're good here. And uh, let's say that this becomes an hurricane explosion. That virus, you're useless. This might stay. You go here, mana region on that. Actually, mana region on this line. Uh, this is good. And I think my AoE is already good enough where I would say let's get more damage. I think we're good. My DPS is insane. Let's see if we can beat the boss with this stupidity. <laughs> Look at the stupid thing. The build is supposed to be just a big arcane explosion. What's the biggest arcane explosion I can actually create? Just so that we have a clean statement here at the end. I would say. Oh yeah, what is, does this look like? Map, okay. It's a decently sized arcane explosion. Uh, let's rotate that back to damage. Yeah, I think we're good here. And let's go. Go for the final boss. Did I lose a bunch of health? I was seeing pluses and minuses. Okay, I'm ready for you. I'm not getting all the crazy swords I was previously getting in the... Here we go. He can't even attack us. I'm literally not even trying and he can't attack us. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> I'm literally not even trying. As long as black holes exist, we um, we gain sword strikes. And as long as I gain sword strikes, he cannot damage us. So we won. We beat this guy again. By the way, if I get hit once, we lose. <laughs> If I get hit once, we lose on the spot. Reason being that I have the curse that says you cannot attack. So uh, there's that, I guess. It's gonna take a while. Uh, but we're gonna win, guaranteed. Uh, all the ones have mana issues right now. As you see, Actually, no. No one has a mana issue. But if I stop moving, because I'm moving this whole time, I'm gonna start going... Madness! <laughs> I got hit. I got hit! Wow, the I'm not able to cast is also relevant because we obviously have the thing we need. Uh, can I see my... I, I would like to see what the potions that I have are. I think the one is the shield one and the other one is the other one. Uh, do I need to do this fight is my question here because it doesn't really provide us with anything. I think I'm gonna bin it. I'm pretty sure that it's very obvious that we are winning here and we can no longer lose, right? That That's pretty obvious as far as I'm concerned. Like, I can just stay here in the corner, and the black holes are gonna slowly dwindle this guy to death, right? Like, it, it's very obvious. I don't think anybody has any doubts that this is a guaranteed win here. So, I'm just gonna go ahead. Let's, let's actually do attack speed madness. I love this man so much. Whoop. And we got with... Um, I'm not allowed to attack anymore. But guess what? Because the black holes work on their own, we still get my shieldy thing on their own. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm not gonna waste any more time here. I'm not gonna try to beat this guy. 
I, we have already beaten them, them in so many videos. So, yeah, let's just end the video here. As this is just gonna take us a while to go through. So let's do, 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 and go fight him. And uh, actually, look at this. I, I stop attacking right now. Let's actually go attacking again. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, it's happening. Whoop, oh, or now I'm actually dead. Drink the potion that give us a shielding. Yeah, I can't attack. It's over. Damage immune. Can this protect us from? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm actually okay. Let's go. Speed is my middle name. I love it. How was I stuck previously? I would like to be stuck if possible. I guess immunity. I don't know. So as you see, that curse that says that you're not allowed to attack, literally the most dangerous curse in the game. Anyway, let's end this. Uh, I'm not even attacking anymore. Yep. So if I get hit once, okay, now I'm trying to attack, for example. And yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, I was unable to. Yeah, because that curse is literally death. Oh, I revive. And I'm alive, boys. Machine gun explosions. I'm in love with this thing. Hope I cannot attack anymore, but still we have the swords going on. Once again, cannot attack anymore. We still have the swords going on. At this point, I got him to half health with me just talking about random stuff. So might as well beat this, I guess. Not that it provides us with anything. Hope I got attacked again. It's also an issue that I don't have damage scaling in any way, shape, or form. Maybe I should maybe loop around him like this. The black holes looping around, by the way, is so weird. And the fact that the wand is set up in a way where you have a black wand, a uh, black uh, hole, and a leg wire. So that you can exactly do this weird mechanic I'm doing right now is a bit weird, but also at the same time obviously very helpful. I'm using all three of the things I have, right? Arcane Explosion number two. Yeah, we have all three things here working out. You know what? Let's end this. Let's lose. But if you can go ahead and watch yesterday's video where I actually beat this guy. Or the one before that. 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 Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh no, we lost! Oh no! I mean, we won anyway, so... Easy enough. If he provided us with something, I would have killed him, but because he just ends the game, if he gave us even 5 meta progression, I would have killed him, but he does not. So it's definitely not worth it. Let me also showcase one last uh, super duper 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 big arcane explosion, just for anybody that wanted to see the biggest version possible. That did not really happen in this video. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be the biggest possible version of arcane explosions. Uh, where is another? I also need a stone, I think. Yeah, like, let's go also get two stones, which are here. Boom, boom. I'm also gonna get a one that has a lot of slots. Uh, this one, for example. One of impurity. And, uh, yeah, MP cost 80. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Boom. And then we go. More size. Okay, this is maybe, obviously, you're never gonna see this in the fight. Let's go. Boom. The speed. Oh, flashbang. You know what? Let's actually make this super blinding. Um, uh, epilepsy warning for real now, because I'm about to make this super duper duper blinding. And uh, let's end the video on a white flashbang screen, honestly. Oh! <laughs> okay, so... Oh, you know what? We can make it even more stupid for the final version of this. Storing globe, storing globe, and uh, another storing globe. And then we're gonna go with... Uh, how many stones do we need? I don't know. Let's go with... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stones. And then we're gonna go with... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're gonna go like... Uh, boom. One man. Boom. 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 And then we're gonna go like... Boom. 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 Okay, and uh, I'm waiting for these to fill up. These, by the way, say other ones may use mana in this one to cast spells. Uh, let's actually not wait 50 hours for this. I'm gonna go with... I think I had super mana regen at some point. Yeah, here we go. I also had super boxes. Well, uh, let's buy more of these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 3 mana regens. Go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then we're gonna go boom, boom, and boom. Now, these are gonna take a while to fill up. I mean, until they fill up, might as well throw out two boxes of each. Uh, actually, all three boxes of each, honestly. And we're gonna go with one, whoop, 
Wait. What are they right? Why? Why? What? Throw these out. Throw these out. Throw these all out. Sift over here trying to do an experiment of blindness. Are you guys ready to get blinded forever? Uh, I'm going to say one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. I'm going to give it like boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think we're ready. And I'm just going to wait for these guys to fill up. Just 2,000 mana. I also put the, uh, what are they called? The patrons over here. Because we're about to flashbang the whole screen in five, four, three. Uh, actually, not yet. Uh, not, not yet. These are still filling up. So five, four, three, two, one. And thanks for watching. And see you guys around. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it.